Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. This one will be just a quick video. Um, I'm doing some maintenance on my HP EliteBook 2560P. This is a 14 inch laptop. It is a workstation class system. I got it off of eBay for, it's under $100. I think I want to say it's like 70 bucks. And it's in excellent condition. <clears throat> and it's been in a couple of my videos. The one thing I did have to do to it is it did not come with a hard drive or a caddy. And I got an SSD, put it in here, and the caddy I think was like three or four bucks on eBay. But what I'm doing is I've had a 32-bit operating system on here, so I was only rocking four gigs of RAM. So I'm upgrading it to eight gigs. These are DDR3Ls, but they do work in here. I've already tested, and it does boot with these in here. So if you can find some, uh, if you have an older laptop like this, um, the L, or the low voltage memory does work, or the DDR3. The other thing I'm doing is I am cleaning out the heat sink. Now this was just crammed full of dust bunnies. It goes here, and the fan, wherever I put that here, goes in here, obviously a little bit neater, uh, but, that's really nice because that's some uh, self-retaining screws. That's that's amazing. But anyways, fan goes in there, blows through, and when I pulled the fan off, I got about three or four dust money from this corner and this corner and just along the bottom of the fan. It's been running a bit warm, and that explains part of it. The other part is, is look at that thermal paste they put on there. A, it's excessive, and B, this is probably, you know, when does that come out? Come out? 10 years ago or so and it's just old and crusty and nasty so I have some new thermal paste I'm going to put on here I'm not going to put on nearly this much of it either one thing with these older laptops is this is replaceable I can swap this out so I may see if I can find because this is a core i5 I might look for a core i7 of this same ilk to put in here um, make this a little bit of a faster machine um, like I said, I've really enjoyed this laptop. It's been a great laptop. It's so inexpensive that I um, can uh, throw it around in my bag and stuff. You know, I review a lot of cheap laptops, sub uh, $250 laptops. This one, all told, cost me less than $125. Uh, the SSD, I think, was 30 or 40 bucks. It's only 120 gig SSD. The memory, I will admit, it was something I had laying around. Um, the caddy was a couple bucks, and then of course the laptop itself. But let me—I'm going to see if I can't find a replacement CPU on here uh, for this laptop and uh, try that out. So that's just something I was thinking about uh, while I was getting in here and cleaning. But if you have an older laptop that's running hot and running slow, this is something definitely worth doing. This is a lot harder on newer laptops. On some of the um, cheap laptops that I reviewed um, it's super difficult but on this HP specifically and my other HP workstation uh, Z book actually same way it's literally just this latch up here releases the whole back panel gives you access to everything the fan is held in with just two screws popped right out and the heat sink and heat pipe everything was held on with just four screws they are numbered I removed it I did a half turn on each one in reverse order. So I started with four, then three, then two, then one to carefully take it off so that it wouldn't hurt anything. And it will go back on in order with half turns on each one. So we're gonna get this thermal paste cleaned off and, uh, and then we'll start shopping for a new, we'll put it back together. I'll see how much a CPU of this ilk costs to replace with. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.